Kay Daniels and today I am going to be answering some of your questions and this is the first q and I've ever had on my channel and I'm so excited to answer some of your questions um, while you guys are sending them I was receiving some notifications so like I haven't necessarily seen all of your questions but you guys did ask a lot because my phone was going. I asked you guys to send me questions on my um, Snapchat or my Ask FM, and I did receive some of your questions. I said you guys could ask me um, anonymous questions if you want, or you can do it not anonymously, or you can ask personal questions, or you can not ask personal questions. And you guys did ask a variety of questions, so I'm just gonna be answering the few that I think is um, quite interesting and the ones that caught my eye. And I said you guys could ask for advices if you want. You guys can basically ask me anything and I will answer them. Um, but I'm just going to pick the ones that really, really caught my eye. If you get what I'm saying. And um, yeah, so let's just jump right into this video. And I hope you guys like my background. Do you dig it? Because I dig it. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, okay, let's just get into the questions before... Um, I get carried away again. If you guys are wondering what I'm looking, I'm just looking down at my phone and I am just trying to get your questions, you know. Um, the first one is actually a statement and it's, you're so pretty. Thank you so much. Like, I just, you know, I don't even know. Like, just thank you so much. That made my day. I actually had a shitty day today. And for me to just come on YouTube and like, you know, try to be happy for you guys a lot of me but thank you so much and you are so pretty too or you are so handsome whoever asked the question um i found out my best friend is sleeping with my boyfriend because i saw them together what do i do here's what you do you ex that best friend because that is so not a best friend that's not what best friends do to be very honest with you best friends don't do that like me and my best friend we, we finna we finna hey go best friend that's my best friend that's my best friend uh, you been a, you been a regular uh, best friend with you, with you, with you ate that. <laughs> That's me and my best friend, like, we are so lit. Me and my best friend were like, we're like world sight. And like, it's not like, my best friend's actually my cousin and my sister, like, those are my girls, like, they're my babes. So, I know they never do that to me. And like you need to cut that best friend out for real and that guy needs to go because he's not your man for him to even want to do that that's like really nigga. how old are you I'm 18 years old um would you consider yourself Twitter famous um not necessarily I wouldn't say I'm Twitter famous I would just say like yes I do have a lot of like followers you know I have a lot of followers people talk to me on a daily basis but I wouldn't really consider myself famous um how many boyfriends have you had would you date any again yeah I've only dated two people in my life and if I were to date one of my boyfriends or one of my ex-boyfriends again I would probably date my first boyfriend because he is just down to earth if you could have dinner with anyone who would you choose um there's this guy i'm talking to at the moment but it's like it's we're like we're trying to work things out but like if i would have dinner with anyone it'd probably be him what matters to you the most money good looks or attitude you just put everything that i am in one question and like like how am i supposed to answer that that's so rude that's rude that's rude that's rude um but if I were to choose one, I'd probably go with money because even with money, I can have like all of those stuff, you know? Like I can still look good and I can still have attitude because, you know, when you're getting guap, like there's something that's got to be, you got to be like a bad babe, like, you know? Um, have you ever been pregnant? Why? Like, why? <gasps> what? I ain't never been pregnant and I'm never going to be pregnant, but... Like, like, I'm just not the type to, like, put myself in that kind of situation, you know? I'm never going to be pregnant, and I have never been pregnant in my life. But if any of my friends were pregnant, like, I'd be there to support my babe. Like, you know, that's my girl. Um, is there any guy you are interested in? I just said that before. Yeah, I'm interested in someone. If you could take back an event in your life, what would it be? I'd probably take back the whole 2015 because, you know, that shit was not supposed to happen. Um... I'll probably talk about it one day in like a story time video when I'm actually ready. But like right now, I don't think I'm ready. I'm like really happy right now. So. I love your channel and your tweets. 
thank you so much you know I really really try to make things better for you guys like you know my lighting my background just everything in general so um thank you so much and for my tweets I really try for my tweets too if it's something that's relatable I will tweet it so that you know they can just feel like some someone else is going through like what they're going through because like I don't just tweet shit like off the blue it's like what I what I want I tweet or what I feel like I tweet you know um, what's your number one rule in life my number one rule in life is A's before base you better put your education first before any other nigga that's about to come in your life because I know you're gonna feel happy you know getting the attention you need getting that love or whatever but you know what books first because when you put books first money comes right after and everybody wants money I don't know what person that doesn't want money what was the best gift you've ever received the best gift I have ever received was my um Instax mini 8 I got my Instax mini 8 from my sister on my um, birthday in the summer and like it's just this like mini Polaroid camera that I've always wanted and when I got it I was just so happy I was like you know thank you candy Thank you so much. I was literally about to cry. Like it was like, it was epic. I was really happy. Um, what kind of movies do you like? Um, I'm a really weird person. I don't know. Like people always think that this is the one thing that's really weird and off about me. Cause like, you know, like I'm a type of person that anyone can vibe with. Like I'm really chill. But then when people ask me like, what's the what's my favorite movie or something like that, I'm gonna be like Bollywood movies, cause that's what I watch like 99.9% .9 of the time. What are your favorite shops? My favorite shops at the mall is probably like Sirens. Um, Aritzia is nice, but it's really expensive. So if you're gonna go to Aritzia, you better have some money with you. Um, I like Old Navy. Forever 21 is pretty dope. Um. Garage. There's a lot of stores in the mall that I really like and I can't really put them together right now. But yeah. Um, what is the last photo you took on your phone post day? I'm just going to put it like right here for you guys to see. That's the last photo I took on my phone. What is your dream travel destination? My dream travel destination, you know, is um, Paris and New York City. Do you make decisions spontaneously or chart out a plan first? I think... I'm the type of person to like schedule everything so I schedule like from when I wake up like shower brushing my teeth eating breakfast I schedule every damn thing everything has a time so if you ever want to chill with me and you tell me like two o'clock trust me I'm gonna be there at two o'clock I'm probably gonna be there at 1 30 real shit and then if you don't come and it's like 2 30 I'm just like you really trying to play me? You really trying to play me? Like, I'll just leave you, like... Anybody got time for that? What's the biggest lie your parents ever told you growing up? The biggest lie that my parents ever told me growing up was, um, this is the funniest shit ever, and it's really funny because I'm a really gullible person, and I actually believed it. That's what makes it really, really funny. My mom told me that, like, um... Cause I just started my period around 12 years old and my mom told me that if I ever go out and a guy just pokes me or touches me, I'm going to get pregnant. And at that age, I was really scared. I was just like, mom, you serious? And she's just like, yeah, so you better watch out, honey. And I was just like, whoa, like I literally didn't let no man touch me when my period started. Like I was just like, who are you trying to talk to? Like who are you really trying to talk to? I know you ain't trying to talk to me cause you know, like, So, you feel me? What's one thing most people don't know about you? People don't know that I'm a really, really nice person. It's just that people love to step on my tail, you know? Like, you can really piss me off easily. And I'm, I know I'm a stubborn person at times, but like, I'm really, really nice. But, you know, just watch the things you say. If you're gonna talk to me and like try to vibe with me or try to be my friend, you better think before you say some shit because you could get thumped. Like, I'm so serious. I'm, but I am a really nice person. Just watch what you say. You love yourself way too much. That's a statement. Like, of course I love myself way too much. Like, who else is gonna love me? Like, some man? Like, niggas disappear like Frank Ocean. So, 
no one is gonna love me more than me so I'm happy I love myself too much and if that makes you feel some type of way you know I'm sorry I'm sorry why is sex isn't important to you sex is not important to me because I feel like in a relationship in a relationship I'm on the side of communicating more like I like to communicate and I like to you know like have times to like you know play or whatever I, I dig like playing and stuff and communicating I don't think sex is something that should be the most important thing in a, in a relationship and if it is the most important thing in a relationship I'll just run away like I, I will just run away I will run away and you gonna get charged because it's gonna look like you kidnapped me or something and my mom gonna get pissed and stuff like that <laughs> I'm just joking um sex is just not that important to me it's just not that important it's just there I dig personality that's what I love that's what I fall for I fall for personality I fall for the type of person you are I don't want to sex is just on that side this is an advice that I saw that I wanted to leave for the last because it's real long and like I I read it and I was just like oh, Naomi, like how you finna answer this but um, it says Naomi please help me my name is Vanessa from Montreal and I love your videos, but I have a dilemma. So this guy I was dating leaked some nudes I sent him to friends. Oh, he leaked the nudes to his friends just because I refused to get back with him. And I'm only 16 and he's 20 years old. I don't know what to do. I have some of his nudes, but I don't want to be that type of person and leak it. Girl! This man is playing with your body and you're 16 years old. Okay, here's what I would do. If this man is 20 years old and he's sending some of my nudes to his friends, then two can play that game. Like, I have your nudes too, nigga. Like, you know, sometimes I don't want to be that plastic bitch, but, like, if you're going to play with me like that and I already told you to stop and it's all because of you. It's all because like I don't want to be with you and or I don't want to get back with you and then you're just going to be like I'm just going to be that plastic person because I don't appreciate people playing with my body like that. I don't know about you but like girl you need to take this seriously like no man should ever be playing with your body like that. Like you sent him that in confidence like do you understand what I'm saying like it's real serious you shouldn't let people do that to you You shouldn't let some 20 year old man bougie ass broke ass you know cockroach ass nigga that don't even pay your bill like play with your body like that it's, it's really that serious um I know you don't want to be a plastic bitch but things like this need to get dealt with I don't know how close you are with your mom or something like that but me and my mom are like really close I tell my mom everything I know some niggas don't believe me when I say it but like I tell my mom everything everything there's nothing I've ever done in my life that my mom don't even know like I tell her everything so if this were me in my case and some cockroach ass nigga was trying to like play that shit with me and send my nudes out trying to leak my nudes or something then my mom gonna know. Especially if that nigga is like some international ass nigga. He gonna get deported so fast. Like, you trying to play with a Daniels? You crazy. But, at the end of the day, you gonna do what you wanna do. You're gonna do what you wanna do. But this is my advice to you that you shouldn't let people walk all over you like that. Even if you loved him or care for him or you're not that type of person you gonna be that type of person you gonna change yourself to be that type of person because you shouldn't let people walk over you like that i mean you got his news too girl he was he probably wasn't even active so guys that was all the questions i received from you guys i'm so grateful for all the questions you guys asked me and i'm so grateful that you guys are even asking me advices and if you have like any other advice it could be anything in the world i will answer it and i will definitely try to answer all the questions there's gonna be more videos coming up soon and I am planning a lot of more collabs with other youtubers thank you guys for watching this video thank you for every clicking this video and giving it a chance um don't forget to stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to subscribe to me it's literally down there so hit that subscribe button and share this video if you want to share it um don't forget to follow me on my social medias it's gonna be somewhere on this screen I don't know where right now but it's gonna be somewhere we're on the screen and I love you guys so much don't forget to always have that awesome spirit you know be happy be happy don't let no 
cockroach ass nigga keep you down you know so um i love you guys so much bye